Hey guys, Iron Fine here on the Comrade SMP for yet another episode. And we are here on the server in a very uh, secret location, you could say. We are over here at an underground PvP arena that a couple of guys on the server and I are making. Um, so far, it's just been Promethean X and Virulentus and I. But we are over here um, to help. Man, I always hear these baby zombie sounds when I'm over in this area. Um, but we're over here to get some work done on this PvP arena. So over the past week or so, Promethean Virulentus and I have um, built this fighting ground right here. And then um, one of Pr either Promethean or Virulentus built this lobby area. And uh, Virulentus has been working on getting this hallway done, which will go to um, it'll continue all the way over here to a little area where we can be uh, spectating some of the action that's going on at the arena. So anyways, that is what they're working on, and I have brought it upon myself to build a respawning room. So basically when you die in the PvP arena, uh, you will spawn back in this room, and this will be where all of your items go. So um, you'll put your stuff in a chest, you'll sleep in a bed here, and that will pretty much be that. Um, so in today's episode, our goal is to hopefully get this entire room built. The only problem is, I don't really have a plan for this building, so to speak. Yeah, I don't really have a plan. That's not great. But, uh, yeah. So what I've done so far is I've extended this little design of your lentices into here. I need to put some red carpet in at some point. And that'll come very shortly. And then, um... We'll begin working on this room. I originally thought spruce would look good here, but considering as we've used oak as the primary wood for everything else, um, I think oak would probably look a little bit better maybe. So I may come back and replace that. But to be honest with y'all, I'm not really sure what I want to do here. Um, I know I want some, some capacity of sandstone in the walls of some sort, but I'm not 100% not sure, uh, to be honest with y'all. So we're just kind of going to figure it out on the fly here and hope for something uh, good. I'm one of those type of guys who I have to have a pattern um, to be able to build. I can't just kind of think stuff up on the fly. Or at least it's a lot harder for me than um, it might be for somebody else. Um, so we're just going to carve this all out. And then I think I want to make some... Uh, sandstone bricks I think it is not chiseled this stuff right over here um, I want to make some of that so I don't have much sandstone on me I should probably go and <laughs> grab some from our chests here let's see we'll go from, we'll start with this chest and I know that um, my episodes as of late have been rather boring and I really want to change that um, you know I haven't been doing a whole lot they haven't been really uh, structured well and that's something that needs to be fixed and I need to fix that soon sooner rather than later definitely whoops I forgot to craft my uh, chiseled sandstone so I really want to have structure in my episodes that's why this episode you know our goal was to take on this project of building this um, respawning room I think that'll be a good project for us in this episode I just want to give more structure to my YouTube channel um, as I think about where to take it in the future. And I know, I know we go through this every couple weeks. You know, it's that thing of, am I enjoying YouTube? Um, that that whole that whole deal. Um, Y'all are well familiar with it at this point, and there's no need to belabor you guys with more facts or more more unwarranted discussion. Um, but yeah, sometimes I'm in a mood where I'm really enjoying YouTube. Sometimes I'm in a mood where I'm not. Um, like with tonight, I probably wouldn't record an episode. But I have not gotten an episode out for y'all this week. And I know I need to get one out for you. Um, I usually try to record on Tuesday evenings and Thursday evenings. That just works best with my school schedule. And Tuesday evening I actually did a live stream. And... That was a great live stream. We got a ton accomplished. At one point, we had nine folks viewing. I think we gained maybe two or three followers, uh, maybe four followers. I'm not sure. Um, it was a really productive live stream. 
And so to all of y'all who are watching my videos who came out to that live stream, thank you so much for coming out. That really meant a lot, and we absolutely got a ton done. It was awesome. Um, but anyways, um, we are over here building this little thing. And actually, you know what? I think I want to show y'all the progress we made in the live stream real quick before I um, get in depth here. Because I need to take some time to uh, think through what I want to do over here. So let's go and exit the secret building here. Or I guess, I guess it's not so secret because most of the folks on the server know uh, where this where this is at the moment. Um, we're actually under my base. Or under a portion of my base. Um, see, that's the uh, villager trading hall, that's the stables, and that's my main house over there. But anyways, in the live stream, I took it upon myself to make a couple of cottages over here in the Iron Woods, as all of them had uh, sold. In my last episode, if you didn't catch that one, uh, Violentus bought these three cottages and the cottage right over here. So in the live stream, we built these two cottages. Um, they're not in a great location over here. I think these these four or five cottages have the best location. Over here is kind of like a the new phase of development. You have a little bit of elevation here and whatever, but they're still nice cottages. Um, so this one is currently for sale. I would love it if I could find a buyer for that one. I know Kuya SGA has mentioned that he might be interested, but uh, we'll just have to see. Also, this cottage over here was bought by Muni Rider, and um, he's bought this one. I'm not sure what he what he has planned for it, but anyways, he's bought a cottage. So I think I could fit one more in here, but I don't know. I may put some other detail or something over there. But um, yeah, I may also put a fountain or some statue or something down there. That way there's another centerpiece in the square here. And I also need to kind of round the edges of the square off and put some flora and fauna in here and that type of stuff. Yeah, that's what mainly what we got accomplished in the live stream. And we actually died twice. Uh, one time I was flying in between these two cottages right here. And Kuya was standing on my wall and just drew his bow and shot me straight away. Just plain out shot me. Um, so that was kind of, um, I don't know, that was kind of murder, <laughs> but that's all right. Um, all good. Then another time I was flying with my Elytra, and I was trying to fly down over here to work on this house, and I just came in way too hot and hit the ground right over in here, hit it way too hard, and <laughs> just died. So there were two deaths over there on stream. Um, neither of them should have really happened. Neither of them were warranted. But just little fails on my part. So anyways, we will hop back down here to work on our project. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get a design for this room. Kind of do a little bit of brainstorming, figure it out, and uh, I'll catch y'all then. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I believe I've come up with a plan here for this room. And note the words, I believe. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure about this. Um, I'm the only guy on the server right now, so I don't have Promethean Virulentis to keep me in check relative to my building skills, um, as they are the um, my co-workers here on this project, you could say. But I think I'm doing something that um, kind of fits with our theme and style. I'm trying to use the sugar cane and using the sandstone um, as, as we've been using kind of the entire time here. And I'm just putting the sugar cane in here for a little bit of a color variation. And I put the uh, stones, or sands, ah, yeah, that's just what I want actually. Um, I put the um, sandstone stairs up here on the roof as a little bit of a border. I think that looks uh, relatively nice. So that's the plan for now. I'm gonna leave this side kind of undone for just a little bit. Um, I want to make sure I have my Oh no, that's not good. Make sure I have my uh, endless well for as long as I need it. And this is the super chunk, actually. Um, you can just barely see parts of it, but we want to block that up. And put a little bit of smooth sandstone in its place. And we'll put these blocks in here, I guess. Yes, we can do that. So uh, we'll just put some sugar cane there in just a little bit. So I think that's what we'll do for this part of it. I know now that I want to use some oak wood dark or spruce right here just does not look good. I actually should have gone ahead and gotten some oak wood before I started uh, recording this clip. That probably would have been a good idea. So let's see if we have any oak wood in here. 
No. And I doubt we have any over here. Yeah, we're not going to have any oak wood, so I should, probably should go and chop some. I should have thought that through before. But then we need to work on a ceiling design after that. And also where we're going to put the beds and the chests and all of that type of stuff. Um, so yeah, this room is kind of coming together. I'm not 100% sold on it yet, but um, I need to get it design in for the ceiling as well. Now you can see how this design is very rugged. It's got lots of elevation changes and stuff, which makes it look so much better, I think. Um, I'm not that type of builder, though. I have trouble uh, getting good elevation change in a room. So I'm going to have to study this pattern and get the um, the elevation of the ceiling fixed. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. But anyways, I want to just wanted to bring you all back for a quick progress update on me adding in the sugarcane here. So I'm going to get some oak wood, put this in here, uh, make a few other design changes, and I will bring you all back. So I've done a ton of work since the last clip. I've just kind of been on a roll in a little bit. Um, obviously, I put the sugarcane in. I have done the walls, put some beds and some chests in, switched this to oak, kind of built a ceiling pattern. I'm still not sold on it yet, but uh, I'm getting there. And I've also done the floor. What I need to do now is kind of figure out if my lighting on the floor is sufficient without torches, because obviously in the finished project we won't have torches here. And we need to see what the light levels here is. So light of seven, okay, so that's mob spawnable. So we need to add some light in here somehow. And it could be in the form of like glowstone, but being that this is an evenly built building, it might be a little hard to add glowstone in. Um, so I'm gonna have to think about that. But other than that, I think this room is almost complete. Obviously I need to put some walls in here, here, and then on the back. But yeah, so basically what will happen is this is where players will set their spawn. They'll put their items in the chests here. And they can even put an item in the item frame if they want to signify which bed is theirs. And then um, I'll run over here through this little hallway and uh, down into the PvP arena. And this is where all the action will happen. And Promethean has been working on the roof up here, but uh, it's not complete, obviously. I'm not sure what his plans are, but I know they're going to be good because uh, Promethean is a great builder. So anyways, I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do for the roof of my area over here. And just right off the bat from walking in from this room into this room it's a lot darker in here and it's also a lot more reliant on wood which may be good maybe bad I don't know but I'm going to think through these last couple details and I will bring you all back when we are ready to uh, wrap up the episode well a lot of time has elapsed once again and it is getting very late in the evening so I'm going to have to end the episode here but I wanted to show you all what is going to potentially be the completed product here. I need to get approval from Promethean X and Virulentis, and I've had Muni Rider come over and check it out, and he seems to uh, like it so far. But this is what I've done. So since the last clip, I may have tweaked the roof a little bit. Uh, I can't really remember, because <laughs> it's been such a long time since the last clip. But I have put some glowstone up here in the roof, also a little bit in the floor, and I've added some sugar cane over here on the back walls with a little bit of a half half moon water flowing thing, which I would have done a whole a whole oval kind of like I did over here, except um, if you break the sandstone blocks, you'll see that there's wood from the decoration over here. So I can't really do that, um, regrettably, or else I would. But I did this half moon, and I'm not sold on it, but it's all right. I definitely like the color that the blue brings into this room. It definitely makes it pop. Um, this is my endless well that I need to take out. Um, but yeah, so I think this will probably do it for this room. Um, I may change the sandstone behind the sugarcane to water at some point. I'm not sure. I need to get somebody's opinion on that. And if y'all have any opinions in the comments section below about uh, what I could do here, make sure to uh, leave them down there and I will make sure to read them. And I will try to uh, try them out and see if they work. Um, and this little ceiling right here, um, I'm waiting for Virulentis to come and input it as I don't have any quartz. And I assume he'll do something similar to this pattern over here. But yeah, so I will definitely be keeping y'all up to date on this project as work continues. Um, it'll probably be maybe a week or so before we get it finished just because for any major design work to be accomplished, we need all three of us on at the same time, which uh, doesn't really happen too much uh, due to our different time zones. 
but yeah guys i think that will do it for me this episode thank you all so much for watching and uh, i'll catch you on the next one so uh see y'all